Okay, I'm going to get up here. <laughs> now this is, we're at Gentle Giants Draft Horse Rescue, and this is how I put the bail when I adjust the big 17 hand, 18 hand, 19 hand, 20 hand. We had did Phantom last time I was here. Over 20 hands, 20 hands on a gigantic shire. And she's got a lower one on the lower left too. So come back around to the left and you'll see right in here. So I have to go under here to get this spot. So I'm going to come to your side. We'll switch mm -hmm. sides, Ava. And so when we go down to the lower cervicals, we have to go C7, T1. We have to actually go into the shoulder blade here. And as I laterally flex, you'll see it create a crease or a little furrow. And I'm going to keep bringing her over. Bring her over. She's hesitant to that side because that's where it's stuck. There you go. So now I'm underneath. Nope. There it goes. And you could hear that clicked a little too. Didn't you hear that? Let me come down. So here's... Here's the vertebra that's setting that off. Do you see it? So can you see this right here? And now I'm going to push into it a little bit. Here, come this way, babe. You're going to have to give me enough slack, Bonnie. Bonnie's my helper today. Okay. I'm just going to hold you for a second. I have to watch my feet. I don't have steel toe shoes today. I had to make a decision to, since I'm working on these tall horses, do I have shoes or sneakers that give me nimbleness or do I go for clunky, heavy shoes that are hard to climb up on that box that I use? So I'm bringing her to me a little bit. I'm holding this point, this pressure point with my fingertips. Come around my shoulder and you'll see where my fingertips are pointing. So I'm holding into here. And let's bring your head around a little bit more, babe. And this is uncomfortable for her because I'm on a pain spot. There you go. How are you doing? Okay. So I'm going to just come down her neck. There's a spot right here at C3. And I'm just going to stretch a little bit. She doesn't like to laterally flex to the side. I'm just going to work with her a little bit, Bonnie, like this, okay? There we go. I'm just going to hold it. I might have to change my grip. All right, babe. Might be too much. So that, that spot's tender. We'll give her a second. Hey, this is Dr. Doug Willen. This is my Collagen for Horses product. It's 100% collagen. It's American made. You put a little bit in the horse's food every day and you're gonna see a difference in the coat, in the teeth, the hoofs, the connective tissue, muscle ligaments. It's good for that older achy horse, but it's also good for a developing horse that's growing into its adult body. Give it a try. And I'm gonna come right on the wing of the Atlas while she chews on my shirt. Oh, sorry about oh, that, Kelly. That's okay. You can see she is checking this out. Hopefully that's a sign of her enjoying it. Hold it really soft. Really soft. Okay. You like that one, right? What do you think of that one? So the pole is stuck a little on the top left. So I'm gonna go in quick, enough slack. Here I come, Blair. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Got it. All right, and we get some shaking out and licking. I'm just gonna hold it now. Watch him blink. That's okay. Just hold that spot. Just hold that spot. Hold that spot. There you go. I'll shake that out. Shake that out. 
That's okay. Just let it go. There you go. That's a good spot. One, two, three. Did you hear a crack? Yeah. All right. Awesome. Made a big pop. So now I'm going to set up on the ASILIUM. There we go. I'm just waiting for her to balance out. Got it. I heard that pop too. Did you hear it? Yeah, I did. I'm just going to bring his head around. Let that relax. A little more. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. There you go. Let it relax. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. So she's releasing a little stress now, you can see. So it's good to do this. It's, we're opening this up. She's making decisions. She's feeling, you know, he's like, he's touching that spot, but on the second, you know, but here, come on, we don't want to eat yet. Cause there's, she's almost like doesn't want to deal with this. So I'm going to adjust this spot now cause I'm on it. My fingertips are down in here and I'm going to look away. Got it. Just give her a second to feel that. She just went quiet. Adjusted right into C7. I thought it was C6, but it was C7. Give her a second. Just let her feel that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just let him relax. Someone turn off your phone. Picture this as a bedtime story. And then someone's phone goes off. <laughs> it's okay. Watch him breathe. Watch his nostrils. Watch him breathe. I'm relax. Okay, let's see. Cat's a little licking and chewing for us. Head come down a little bit when he's ready. It's all timing because I have to let him lead me. Let him have a moment. Can't rush this. It's not with humans where I just do it whenever I want. Stick with him. Give him a minute. There we go. One more. There it is. And see if he licks his lips a little bit. Give him a second. Hmm? Okay. Let me feel the space now. I'm on C5 right now on the right, pushing in with my knuckle into the, lightly knuckle, I'm just on the back of my fingers. Jiggling the nose. All right, so you want to come over here. So here's what we do. We hold. 
There we go. One little more. I'm almost done. And I'm going to just hold it now. What do you think of that spot? Just let it go. Let me just check the jaw while I'm here. TMJ. She has a right TMJ, right lateral TMJ. Got it. And it's good for people to see this because, you know, a lot of people have their horses that their family got and take such sweet care of throughout their lives and they never really had anything to worry about and these horses have had a lot of hard work some definite pain and they have to keep going no matter what and eventually one day they're not useful anymore and they're sent to auction possibly the meat men will buy them and they'll get slaughtered so this is a great rescue for the for gentle giant strapped horse rescue they're bringing him back to health he had some time in quarantine when he first arrived and that's not a covid quarantine Horses, when they arrive here, need to make sure they're not bringing in parasites and infection and spreading it to, the, to all the other horses. There's over 140 horses here on average at any given time. And so they spend a few weeks. How many weeks would it be in quarantine? Uh, 21 days. 21 days, yeah. So they're not like, that's not that COVID quarantine. Uh, it's just normal, good common sense quarantine to make sure they're okay before they're allowed to be with other horses. And come around. You can see here's another one here. And, um, and then you can really see, if you shoot up top, you'll see how much we can see the spinuses sticking through. Um, in here, it's all scooped out. There's no muscle up here, so that's all atrophied. I'm gonna come around the back now. Um, and let's see. Yeah, so here's a, what the heck is that one? That's a big wound here. That's a scar. And you know, this, is, this has been a tough life. Um, you know, a lot of atrophy in the muscles, so these, these glutes are all weak, um, hamstrings, um, there's, this is very narrowed or, or tucked under, so the, the legs are underneath him, uh, and, uh, yeah, so this is, I'm just getting, getting, and just the, here, let's, let's walk him away from the fence a little bit, and, and you'll see. And here, one more time, we can see all the scars. Remember, these were bloody, gaping wounds at one point. And like a horse-like keeper, um, you know, when 